Hello and welcome to another Lawn Fun video. Today we're taking a look at the new mini set Big Acorn. This has a big acorn with some fun faces that you can add and a really fun sentiment that says I'm nuts for you. It also has coordinating dies. I'm going to be making two cards today and I've gone ahead and colored my acorns for my first card and I'm using some Distress Oxide ink to stamp out those cute little pink cheeks on my little girl acorn here. So they're very subtle on that brown marker colored background. Now I'm going to work on my card base. This is a craft card base that I've cut here and I'm just going to use some tea dye ink and my blending brush to add some darkness to the edges. So I'm just going around the edges focusing on the corners mostly and pulling that ink in to darken it up and give some variation and texture to the background. I'm also going to use some of the new Into the Woods Remix papers. I'm going to be using this blue with the little dot and also this orange with the grid. I've cut a strip of that orange out and I'm going in with some pumpkin spice ink in my blending brush. And I'm just adding some darkness to the edge to define those edges. This piece of paper is going to go down the center of my card, creating a stripe. Before I glue it down though, I'm also going to go in with that pumpkin spice ink and stamp out the little leaf that comes in this set to create my own pattern card base. So you can see I'm just using that piece of paper as a guide to see what parts I'm going to see and what parts are going to get covered up and then I can stamp my leaves around accordingly. So once I've got that looking the way I want, I'm also going to add a little bit of sparkle to this card base with some gold metallic watercolor. And I'm just going to pick that up and tap it with my finger. So this is going to kind of give the look of gold foiled paper on this card base. I'm also going to flick some off the side of a clear block here and this will create even smaller splatters so we have lots of variation in size of droplets. You can see that sparkle when, you, when the light hits it there. So now that that is all dry I'm going to add this strip of paper right down the center of my card. So I'm using my grid mat to help me line it up. And I'm just going to line it up with the top of the card and then I'll just trim off the excess that overhangs the bottom. Now to add a little bit of decoration, I've got some hot cocoa lawn trimmings twine and I'm just going to wrap it around my card. Now when I do this, I like to either wrap it around once or three times. I think that odd numbers always look better. So I'm going to wrap it around three times and it's kind of loose here, but I'm just going to trim it off. And then I'll tighten it up and kind of move those pieces of twine to where they crisscross and create a nice looking pattern. Then I'm just going to tie a bow here on the left side so that you'll see this bow on the side of that circle that you can see I've already cut that scalloped circle there that's going to kind of be my focal piece where my little acorns are going to go. Or I guess I should say my big acorns are going to go. <laughs> So once I have that twine sort of where I want it, I can adjust it a little bit once it's tied. So I'm going to be putting that scallop circle on with some foam squares. You can see I've put the squares at the top and the bottom of the circle so that the twine can pass through the center of the circle and not create any extra thickness. So the foam is just going to be at the top and the bottom and then the twine will pass between them. I'm just going to center that up on my stripe of paper there. Make sure those tails are out and that bow is out in front of it. And then I can adjust my twine any more that I need to once that's on there. So now I can trim off the tails of my bow to the length that I want them. They're a little bit long right now, but I didn't want to trim them off until I had everything adjusted in case I had to untie it again. 
Now I'm going to add the sentiment that says, I'm nuts for you. So I'm stamping the word nuts first. I just like that this also has two different fonts for such a small sentiment. Then I'm going to stamp for you, and I'm stamping all this in the walnut ink that's brown. I think it goes with the color scheme of this card. And then I'm going to tuck the little I'm right in there above the N and the U. I've got my big acorns here, and I'm putting some foam squares on them as well. And I'm just going to snug them up against each other right in the center here. And then I've also colored some leaves, and I cut those out with the matching dies. And I'll just decorate around them, filling in that circle a little bit more with those leaves. I colored the leaves in oranges, yellows, and greens to add even more color to this card. So once I have them where I want them, I'm just adding them back on there with a little bit of liquid glue and just tucking them behind those acorns. And I had two left over there, and I thought it was a bit too much to add them to the acorns, but then I kind of liked the look of them tucked behind my circle. So it just kind of extends those images out past that focal circle just a little bit. And then finally, I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter pen by tracing those lines on the acorn cap. So it's a very subtle shimmer just on those lines that will catch your eye in the light. And then here is my finished card. I love those gold flecks that just catch the light when you turn it. Now I'm going to make a card and I'm going to be incorporating the new Snow Much Fun bears. So I've already cut out and colored my bears so I know this bear looks funny because he doesn't have arms but you layer the bear with the arms over top so I'll show you how that works here in a minute when I assemble the images but first I want to work on my card base and I'm going to be using some pattern paper from Into the Woods Remix I've got this chevron dark teal paper that I've cut with a stitched rectangle this is going to be my focal panel in the middle and I'm going to be using the new thanks, thanks, thanks stamp set for my sentiment to say thanks for being so thoughtful. So I'm finding the stamps that say for being so thoughtful and I'm going to line those up on my block. So I'm just lining them up on my grid mat and then I'm going to pick them up with my block. So I'm going to be white embossing these onto that panel you see there. And then for the thanks, because those larger thanks have dies, I'm going to be die cutting that but embossing it as well. So I'm gonna line up my little panel here on my grid mat to help sure everything's straight. I'm going to ink up that sentiment with some clear ink. I've already added some anti-static powder to this. And then I'm gonna add the white embossing powder to it. Then I'll just heat that up with my heat tool till it's all nice and melted and bright white on that background. So now for the word thanks, I'm going to be also white embossing it on some Rainforest cardstock. So I've just got a scrap of Rainforest cardstock. I've added that anti-static powder. I'm going to stamp out that word thanks with some clear embossing ink and then add that white embossing powder to it. And then again, I'll just heat that up with my heat tool till it's all melted and bright white. So I'm going to use the coordinating dies that come with this stamp set to cut out this word. So I'm just lining it up with that sentiment that you can see through there and I'll run that through my die cut machine. I'm also going to cut a couple more of those and stack it, which you'll see here in just a minute. But before I move on to that, I went ahead and put my panel onto a card base. This card base is made from some gray wood grain cardstock. So it's got that nice wood grain texture in the background. So to finish off my sentiment here, I've cut that thanks die out of some Rainforest cardstock and I'm just going to add some liquid glue and stack these on top of each other. This is just going to give that a really nice thickness, almost like a chipboard cutout, and it just adds some nice interest and depth to the sentiment. 
It makes it stand out from that background even more. So I'm only doing three layers here, the top of which has that embossed sentiment on it. And I just clean up my glue with my pick tool there, just kind of going over the edges so that there's not a bunch of glue oozing out the side. And then I'm just going to layer that right above and to finish off my sentiment. Now for my little bear here. So like I said, he has two pieces. So you layer the top piece over the bottom piece and there's a die that cuts his arms so he can hold things. So he's going to hold this big acorn. So I'm going to go ahead and put that acorn in his arms where I want it. And I'm just going to hold it in place with a little dot of glue. And then I put some thin foam squares on the back of that. And I'm going to layer that over the body that goes on the back. Now in truth, I probably didn't need to color that whole bear that's on the back because you only see his feet, but I wasn't thinking about how much the front part of the bear and the acorn would actually cover up. I added some foam squares to the back of him and I'm kind of placing him, figuring out where he needs to be. He does not need to be centered because I'm going to add this cute little baby bear beside him. I just like that he's kind of reaching up for the giant acorn. And then to add a little bit of brightness to the card, I've colored some of those leaves that come in that little stamp set with yellow. And I'm just going to add those around the bottom of these bears. And this just kind of completes my little scene that I've created here. I just think this is a super cute card hugging that giant acorn. And then there's that other card I created. So let's take a look at some examples from the design team. Elise created this super cute card and she used the branches from a bug deal to hang her acorns from. It's super cute and I love that pattern paper background. Letitia's card is so beautiful. She used that acorn to create a no line watercoloring card that is just perfect. I love Lynette's card, how she used those big acorns hanging from the trees and those squirrels below. And then Kara created this fun slimline card, and I love how she put that giant acorn in the wagon. It is just too cute. I love Tammy's card and how she paired those with the Let's Go Nut Squirrels, and I just love that sentiment using Oliver's ABCs. And then Megan created a basket full of giant acorns, and I just think it is so fun with all those Let's Go Nut Squirrels all around. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.